my YouTube friends. So you just got a desktop so you can take your streams to the next level. That's freaking sweet. But your entire stream is stuck on your old laptop. Well, it's a lot easier to move than you think. I'm going to walk you through the entire process today. So you know what? Let's get to it. You're going to have to move your stream to another computer from time to time. It happens. Or maybe you're just going to do a total refresh of your streaming machine because something just isn't working right or you're getting crashes or something like that. Well, you can move your live stream easily and be up and running right away on another computer as if nothing ever happened. And all it takes is a little bit of planning. Step one is going to be determining what plugins your OBS stream is using. Now we all load and test different plugins from time to time. And you may have a bunch in your OBS that you aren't even using in your streams. And honestly, we only really want the ones that are tied to features that you're using for your streams. So what I like to do is go through each scene in my stream, look at the effects that I use and write them down so I don't forget any. Now you can also go through what's installed pretty easy and just move them all if you want to. Let me show you how you can do that. To do this, you're just going to find your OBS directory. It's going to be OBS-Studio and it could be wherever, but it's usually going to be in C program files. If you go in here, you're going to be able to scroll down through here and see your OBS plugins. And then you're going to go to your bit system, which most cases is going to be 32 bit. And in here, you're going to be able to see all the plugins that you have installed. So this has the 3D effect. It has the advanced scene switcher. It has multi-stream. It has all kinds of different plugins. You're just going to want to select the ones you want. In my case, like the freeze filter I use. We use the source clone, the source copy, source record, source switcher. So what I would do is just take these, right click, go to copy. Then I would paste these on the thumb drive in a directory called plugins, move it over to the new machine, and then go to your OBS install on your new machine and go to OBS studio and then OBS plugins and then 64 bit and just paste these in there. And then you have all the plugins that you had on your old machine already installed and ready to go. Now, once you have all your plugins listed out, it's best to go ahead and download them and install them on the new machine. Or if you're just copying them over, you're going to want to go ahead and copy those into the plugins folder on the new machine. We are almost ready to move our actual live stream. Now, step two is going to be to consolidate all of our streaming files. Now, what I mean by streaming files is videos, images, sound effects, music, pretty much anything that goes into making your live stream whatever your live stream is. Now, if you set up your streams using the tutorials from this channel, you're probably already set to move your stuff. But if not, we need to move all your streaming assets into one main folder. Now, that folder can have other folders in it so you can organize everything in there to make it easy to find. For example, you have your live stream folder and then maybe inside that folder you have transition videos and then you have another folder that has live streaming music or something like that. So you can segment them inside that one folder, but everything should be in one easy folder. Here you can see what mine looks like and it looks like a mess. But again, all of the files for my stream are in one folder. Now let me show you how you can move and organize these files while you have OBS opened, just in case you're not already set up that way. So you just have to go through each scene and you see we've got in this scene alone, we've got music and video. You right click, go to properties and you just take a look at the file that we're talking about here. And then what you can do is you can browse to those files, right? And you can just right click on those files and then copy them and then paste them into a single directory. So you create a single directory, something like this move stream right here. And you can create folders in here or whatever to organize your stuff like music and video or transition video or whatever you want. And then you just right click on the files that you could find easily by click and browse right here in the thing. And then you just go ahead and you paste those in here so they'll all be in one folder that you can easily move now the way we're doing it now we're just copying the files so it's not going to actually affect the stream that's happening right here it'll be very very easy 
for you to connect these up once you move it to the new location. Now I work really hard to try to create content that I think you're going to enjoy. Sometimes I hit and sometimes I miss, but honestly, it's really hard to know for sure. And that's where you can really help me out. If you're watching this video and it's something that you enjoy, you find it helpful, leave it a thumbs up. And if it's not your cup of tea, please do me a big favor and leave it a thumbs down. Now, if every single person watching this video leaves it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, I'm definitely going to know whether this is the kind of content that you want to see going forward. So thumbs up or thumbs down right now. Thank you very much. Let's get back to the video. Now in this folder, we're going to create a folder to hold our OBS configuration files as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to profiles and this is going to be what saves all of the stuff that's in settings, right? So we're going to go up to profiles and we want to have the profile that we want to export selected and we want to go ahead and select export. And then what we want to do is select the folder where we want it exported. So in this case, we've already created a folder. So we're going to go into that folder or we're going to point it to that folder. So in this case, you saw it, it was live, it was move stream and we're going to select that folder and boom, now we've moved that. So we're going to go into scene collection. And in this particular case, our scene collection is tutorial as well. So we're going to go to export and we need to go ahead and find the same folder. So we're going to go into here and we're going to go into our move stream. Then we're going to just name this if we want. Now it's already named after the name of our scene collection, which is tutorial. But you might want to name it something else. It's up to you. And we're going to click save. Now we have everything that we need saved out and ready to go. Now we can put this folder on a portable drive or move it across the network to the new machine or however you want to get it on the new computer. Now that we have it there, let me show you how to get your OBS set up and get it put on and get your stream up and running. Okay, here we are in our new OBS on our new machine with all of our new plugins loaded. So we're going to load our profile first. We're going to go and click profile and we're going to go to import. And now we just need to go and find that folder that we moved over to the new machine and we can select our folder and select. And there we go. So now in our profile, we have it right here. This is going to have all of our studio settings and information that we already had set up. So everything is going to be ready to go live when we're ready. All we have to do is bring our scene collection in here. So we're going to go to scene collection import and we're going to go ahead and click these three dots right here and we're going to go into that same folder that we copied over right here we're going to select it and you can see it's named the same as what our profile is named over there click opened and we're going to select it right here and click import now all we have to do is go up to our scene collection and go to tutorial and you can see that we've it automatically loads the cameras and all that stuff because of course they're all the same, but we do have some missing files in here. And because we actually set up the folder with all of the files, all we have to do is click on one of these and then go to that file folder that we created. So this move stream now, and we can basically select the file that it's looking for right there and click open. And you're going to see that OBS has found additional matches for the missing directory. You click yes and boom, it found everything. And then all we have to do is click apply and it has everything that we wanted in here. We don't have to change anything out. All of our assets are going to be exactly the same. We have literally just moved our stream and all of our plugins and it only took a little bit of planning and a couple of minutes. Pretty awesome. So that's all there is to it. You can click go live and be certain your live stream is going to work exactly the way it did on the old machine. I told you it was easy. Now, is there something here that you couldn't figure out or I didn't explain right? Let me know about it down in the comments. And if you have a lot of plugins in OBS that you don't use and you want to clean it up, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help you become a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.